Design source mold engineering software allows you to do calculations for pneumatic cylinders. The pneumatic cylinder calculations are located under the fluid section. Fluids include gases and liquids. And the calculations are listed in alphabetical order based on the first word of the phrase. Pneumatic cylinders are way down here. And if we open it up, we find that the first section allows you to calculate the right size cylinder to use for your application. You choose your units. And in this case, we're going to use pounds and pounds per square inch. Shot pressure is typically around 90 pounds, and we're going to, for this example, assume that you want to generate or move an object or create a force of 200, p uh, 200 pounds. When you hit calculate, it tells you that you need approximately a 2 and 3 8 inch diameter cylinder. Now, what it's done here is actually size the cylinder that will provide 400 pounds of force. And the reason for that is to keep the uh, cylinder moving freely. If you size it too close to the limit of, of, the, of the pressure or, or force that it needs to generate, then the cylinder can hesitate and move slowly. If you size it substantially larger than what is needed, then you also can lose speed of the cylinder because you have to wait for the air to move and build up pressure. So that's the theory behind that portion. Now, once you've chosen your cylinder, we'll say you're going to use a two inch diameter cylinder in this case. You can use two and a half, but I'll say two for the sake of this example with a one inch diameter rod and a four inch stroke. And the pressure, shot pressure being 90, it could have been 80, put whatever you want in there, whatever is appropriate for you. And we'll assume for this case that we're going to go four cycles per minute, um, should be a 15 second cycle. When you press calculate, you get the forward force that the cylinder can generate or will generate at that pressure. The return force, assuming there's no you know, weight on the rod at the, at the point where it's going backwards, you, it could uh, retract with a 212 pound force. It's always less on the return side because you don't have the area of the rod for the air pressure to act on. And it also tells you how many standard cubic feet of air per minute you will need to operate that cylinder. Like most of the sections in Design Source Mold Engineering software, you have the option of sending this to your default printer, clearing to uh, start over again, or you can go back to the main menu if you want to do another calculation in the fluid section, or you can go back to the main menu.